Hey guys, I'm Channi and you're watching The Art of Signs. We've all played on seesaws as kids, but in today's video, we will use the art of science to make a candle seesaw. This experiment mixes simple concepts of levers and balance to give us this fascinating outcome. So, a seesaw is a type of a first class lever where the point of pivot is between the load and the effort. These two are the end points of the seesaw where the kids sit. In our experiments, on either end we will have two candles in place of the kids. The point on the straw that is connected to the bottle through the wire is known as the pivot point or the fulcrum. Now, how we get the seesaw motion is simply through balance. Initially, both candles have approximately the same weight and so the system is balanced. The key to imbalance and hence the seesaw effect is to light the candles at different times. Let's say we burn candle A first. The burning of this candle results in transformation of wax to gas. The wax that is lost due to burning and dripping down makes candle A shorter and therefore a little bit lighter than candle B. Candle B, the heavier one, goes down and candle A, the lighter one, goes up. Now, the wax in candle B burns off faster than candle A because its flame is closer to the body of the candle. So this causes wax evaporating, dripping and making candle B light. So now this will go up and candle A comes back down. The same process keeps repeating to ultimately give us this amazing candle seesaw effect. Unleash your creativity and let us know in the comments below how you have decorated these candles. Stay tuned and keep watching the art of science.